Hi, my name's Mark. Um, I'm a user of Unity and Pro Builder, and I just want to show you a quick tip on how to create a circle, a hole effectively, uh, within any side of an object. Um, now, just to begin, Control Shift and K just to start to create shape, then keep Shift down, just left click to create the shape, which is obviously in this case a box. Control Shift K just to get rid of that. I just want to go on to face selection and just keeping the control key down and left clicking on each side. Then press backspace just to get rid of that so we're on to one area. Now if you select that face you can then go on to the scale tool, keep shift down whilst left clicking and just come down like so. We then have a square. Now that's not a hole. Well, it is a hole because if you delete it, which I'll un control and Z undo, uh, it's a hole, but it's not a circular one. How do you make a circular hole? Well, it's actually quite simple. Um, what you can do, you can go onto the face selections and you, uh, sorry, the vertex, First of all, you've got four dots. Now for a circle, you'd probably want 18 dots because 18 goes into 360, which is degrees of a circle. But because you've got four here, if you left it, you'd have 14, which is not an even number to get some more dots on each of the sides. So what we do, we go down and compromise with 16 dots. So what we do, we go here like so, come down to subdivide edges now you can do alt s you've got to make sure you've got the right amount of subdivisions which is three and then you just press subdivide edges left click that to close that go on to here you've now got lots of dots now these dots 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 so there's three there three there three there three there it's not the 16 uh, sorry the 18 dots we'd want but it's still okay now what you can quite easily do is to highlight some like so and just bring them out like so so you keep the control key down and left click the mouse and just bring this out doesn't have to be exact you can do it by eye or you can be a bit more precise you go like so and there you have it now that is a circle now it's not a great circle so what you can do is just bring that up a little bit that's probably a bit too much then you can see these are a little bit too far out so you can bring those in like so and the same there and that looks fairly good go back to face selection then you can possibly make that smaller if you wanted to for instance highlight by control and left click on the face selection these parts go down to merge faces then you can highlight the circle and delete it you've now got a well it's a pretty good circle if you want to see it even better you can say right hold the control key down sorry but uh, the shift key I beg your pardon come out that way and then you can now see you've got a circle you can smooth these off these items if you want to uh, I can show you how to do that and it's again it's quite easy but that effectively is it thank you for watching